traditional sense of working with dance material. But we also need the space for the people to move in at the moment. I'm a choreographer and I'm a dramaturg and uh, we are members of a performing arts collective called Vatko based in Zagreb, Croatia. Uh, we are bad bad call, uh, but we're good people, I hope, and um, uh, we are in trying to be with uh, good software, bad equipment. Uh, we are eight people coming from uh, very different fields, uh, uh, two dramaturgs, one philosopher, four dancers, choreographers, uh, our company producer. It's important to say that in a matter of working collectively, we share our duties, so dancers have written text for our theater performances. Uh, I have performed as a dramaturg. Uh, even our company producer has shot a film with us for one of our installations and performances. Uh, so the roles are interchangeable, uh, whether somebody is listed on the program of the performance as a director or performer or dramaturg depends on one on the particular work. We work in a way which in the British uh, tradition is called device theater. So uh, it's always uh, different, uh, 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 very the references that we start out with. Uh, but today we won't be presenting uh, our artistic work uh, in, in a matter which uh, uh, is usually done. We won't be showing videos of our performances. We won't be discussing the methodology uh, behind the work we do, except in one matter. We're going to be presenting a piece of software, or a software toolbox with six different tools that we have jointly developed with the Daniel Turing, a uh, German free software developer. Uh, this toolbox uh, of software tools was uh, designed for analysis and development of dance and movement. It can be used by dancers, or it can be used by non-dancers, anybody who is interested in how the body moves uh, in space and in time. Uh, the six tools included in the suite, uh, which is available uh, on our website for download, which you can get on a CD, which you can get on uh, one of those uh, sticks, uh, uh, are used um, in uh, more, I would say, in terms of uh, for educational purposes, for research purposes, when we are working practically, when we are working uh, in the collective and with others, and not so much as something which can be, uh, at least for us, something which is uh, implemented in our performances. So uh, what we will present today is not something that we use on a screen as kind of another aspect of the performance or something which is decorative or illustrative, but something really which is a tool, and this is why we call it uh, a toolbox. I'm just going to ask my colleague to <coughs> set up the What's other... Happening here in front, of the, in front of the camera, because her concentration was so like, what is going on? <laughs> her focus is yeah. really on the camera. So if I watch just her moving in front of the space, you get instantly a really weird kind of movement choreography, choreography going on, even if she's not thinking, okay, I will dance and move and I will do some really crazy movement. She doesn't think about this. She just watch the screen, try to solve the task, and she really moves in this way. And this kind of alien logic, something going from outside to the body was really interesting for us and how to work with it. This uh, uh, surveillance camera in the space and uh, a key component was uh, being introduced by accident to Daniel, who had different little software tools uh, which he was working on, uh, and he called this a simple binary block track, because it was very, very primitive, he didn't know what to do with it, it wasn't a kind of like the advanced commercial motion tracking tools you have, but he was very interested in uh, working with other artists on seeing where the software is going. He has a commercial job to his, his career, but he is uh, uh, working as a human uh, computer interface developer and artist and wants to do different projects. At the time, he was working on the now mostly forgotten operating system called VO, or to replay it in slow motion.
can just leave this in the space, you leave your computer running, and you can work in different phrases of material. This is also fun for people who, well, for uh, young people, for kids, in terms of uh, they can fool around, they can trigger the camera uh, to record, uh, trigger the system to record up to 30 seconds of fooling around, and then replay this in verse, reverse and have fun. We'll talk a little bit more yourself and move yourself, uh, your own body, through the space. So no joysticks, no power gloves, no tapping on the iPad screen and making the, what is it, the pigs fly. Um, it's just moving through the space. And so it's very nice to activate non-dancers, people fool around with it, people use it as a video game. But what happens to a dancer, when a dancer gets into this kind of uh, uh, use of space, is either you revert to the way you use your body in everyday situations, <laughs> or you try to implement kind of what is ingrained in the body in terms of technique and habitual movement. And this is the alien logic, where you do away with this. I mean, it's sometimes very difficult for, for dancers, and we use this a lot uh, in our work when we get stuck. go to our website and download this free for free, that you don't need to pay for the software. Uh, it means that we are working here in the spirit of a free software culture. So it's not just free in terms of not paying for it, it's also free in terms of that the code is actually free and open. So those who are not working just in theater and dance, but those who are working with software can access the code itself and can go further to develop this as we have gone further in developing it in our realm of work, in our artistic work. So this has been very important uh, to us, uh, uh, important in the sense that uh, we get everything uh, out, uh, uh, our experiences with working with it, uh, this knowledge, this pedagogical work, uh, the work from the studio, but also this behind the scenes, behind the laptop work, that this is also available to those uh, who want to access it, that this is uh, freely shareable, that the disks can be copied, that the software can be uh, mirrored on other websites, uh, that those who do code can go into the code itself, as those who choreograph can go into different uh, applications uh, of dance material and you know, recode that, uh, the choreographic material. Uh, 